Welcome back. Well, there's no doubt our senior population has taken the brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic. Periods of isolation, especially for those in care facilities, has been necessary to protect them, but it can be incredibly lonely. Psychologist Julie Stromel of the Everett Clinic says it's important to reach out despite the barriers. I think the deepest concerns um, for many has been isolation. Um, so many people are living in retirement communities and settings where they were required to stay in their rooms, away from loved ones, away from friends, away from their familiar activities and the things that brought them joy, um, help them to deal with day-to-day -day stress. So it's the isolation which is really such an important thing for those of us who do not fall into that group to keep in mind that it's the simple things like going grocery shopping or hugging your grandkids. They're at such a high risk for even those activities, right? It really is. And everything's been turned upside down. So I think we can all become exhausted and want to convince ourselves that we actually don't need to be careful. However, we do. <laughs> right. And we may need to do this for a while. So that being said, you know, just like if we learn to cope with the cold or flu, we can pinch it for a little while. Um, but just like a, maybe a chronic condition, we need to have some long-term strategies that work um, over the months, not just for a week or two. So what do you suggest? Where should people begin? So I think it's important to realize that we need to start now, not wait and see if this goes away. This, these are good strategies to start right now. So to be proactive and not wait for it to come to us or happen to us. So one thing that we do know is that following a routine is very helpful. Um, we don't have to reinvent the wheel every day. It gives us a sense of predictability and security, something we can control. Um, you know, there's a lot going on in the world outside and we can't control that as much, but we can certainly stick with the schedule, maybe pick some main anchor points in the day, get up, get dressed. Um, it just helps us feel better. And what about this notion of resiliency? How can you build that and, or help someone that you love build that or find that in themselves? Absolutely. Again, it comes from the idea of being proactive. So we do know that we can um, problem solve a lot of things. We can reach out and, um, you know, let people know that we could use a call every day or two. I hear a lot of older adults tell me that their family um, has a lot going on. They're too busy. Honestly, let's not be too busy for each other. So go ahead and reach out, let them know I'm having a hard time. You know, I have to stay uh, alone in my room right now. I could really use a call every day. Maybe a few good jokes, tell me how the kids are doing. Uh, and those sorts of things can make all the difference. Yeah, I have to be totally transparent. I have been guilty of that, you know, working from home, two kids virtually learning. I don't check in with my parents as much as I should. Sure. Can, can it be as simple as just a phone call or a text saying that I'm thinking of you? Or are there certain things that we really should try to engage our older loved ones with in conversation? Boy, that's a great question. Yes, it is that simple. So we all need to belong. We all need to be cared about. We do better when we're needed and um, we do better when we have other people to lean on. So that connection is huge. It's, it's really key. Grandparents too, reach out and talk to your grandkids, ask what they're up to, um, read them a story and um, stay connected. Yeah, it feels like while we are focused on helping our senior pop population deal with their sense of isolation, ultimately, this is super healthy for all of us, right? Because if we're connecting with the people that we love, that makes us feel better too. Oh, so true. So true. Yes, we're, we're interdependent if we're, we're really looking at um, living maturely. So we try and grow up and figure out how to do things on our own. Really, the next step in... Um, adulthood and maturity is to realize we all need each other and we all have something 
to share with each other. So lift each other up. Right after that interview, I picked up my phone and texted my parents. I think they're watching right now too. Love you guys. All right, like Julie says, we should never be too busy. The Everett Clinic has many resources for seniors. You can visit their website at everettclinic.com.